Metal Up World, this is CJ with CJOrtiz.com and MetalMotivation.com. Welcome to the first episode of a new five-message series I'm doing entitled Procrastination, How to Put an End to Putting Things Off. This is from my Life Domination Online Coaching Program. I always show the first episode for free. You can learn more about the Life Domination Online Coaching Program by visiting the link below. But again, all this week, Procrastination, How to Put an End to putting things off. Imagine, if you will, what you could possibly achieve with your life if you just simply stopped putting things off. Procrastination is a consumer of life. Procrastination is a consumer of goals. It is a consumer of dreams. That's what it eats, man. It eats productivity. It eats dreams and goals and visions that you have for yourself. It's taking and robbing from your life even as you sit where you are right now. Now, procrastination affects all of us in certain areas, maybe more so than others, but in general, all of us are guilty of procrastination, even me. Uh, we all do it, man. There's just certain things we just try to avoid doing, but there's reasons for it. There's reasons why we procrastinate. There's reasons why we put things off, but what are they? Maybe if we can better understand our psychology when it comes to putting things off, we'll have a better chance of getting the upper hand on our time and maybe move your life forward. Imagine that. Imagine getting out of your comfort zone right now. Imagine getting out of this, this area of just idleness, of neutrality, where you're not really shifting into gear. How are we going to steer something that's parked? How are we going to steer your life if you are parked right now? And it may be pain. That's got you parked. You know what I mean? You, you may be beat up by the world. You may be beat up by some relationships right now. You might be suffering. You might be done. You might feel like you're burnt out, man. You're just too tired to make it. Maybe that's where you are right now. But what happens is it's more comfortable to stay idle. We avoid the pain of work. We avoid the pain of paying the price of what it takes to get to where it is we truly want to be in life. So for me... I want to stir up that inside of you. I don't want to speak to the laziness. I don't want to speak. I don't want you don't need empathy from me. You don't need me to feel sorry for you. You don't need me to wipe your nose. It's not going to help you, man. If you've been through some serious stuff, if you've been through some serious challenges, man, my heart goes out to you. OK, I mean, I'm sorry that people have hurt you. I'm sorry that life has not treated you as fairly as you think it's treated somebody else. I'm sorry. It feels like there's always a dark cloud. I'm sorry it feels like you f that life has just given you the shaft, that you're some unique one that always seems to get the lesser in life. Either way, it's not going to help you very much to get my sympathy. It won't help you. I can empathize with you. I, you know, Again, I can feel bad for you, but that's only going to take you so far. And you can surround yourself with people that feel bad uh, about you. you know, and that's only going to take you so far. At some point, you're going to have to get back in the saddle. Right back in the driver's seat. At some point, you're going to have to start the car, get out of neutral and start driving down the road because the clock is ticking on the only life you've got. And you don't get a do over in this, man. You don't get to come back and do this all over again. This is it. This is your life. Don't let procrastination rob you. Don't let it rob you of anything. It's a demon on your back. Procrastination is a demon on our backs. We put things off. Because there's something we're trying to avoid or there's something we're trying to create. I'm going to talk about this week about procrastination is actually a weird way of you and I getting something done. Think about that. Procrastination is actually a very strange way that you and I try to get something done. How could it possibly be? If procrastination is putting things off, then how could procrastination be a way of getting things done? I'll tell you how. Have you ever said this before? Have you ever said, I work better under pressure? Man, I've said that. I work better under pressure. Well, if you've ever said, I work better under pressure, then what do you think procrastination creates? What do you think? If you put something off, you know that the inevitable day of judgment is coming. By putting something off, you know that circumstances and time are going to get more constrained. And what's going to happen? You're finally going to spring into action.
right? Because the closer the deadline looms, the more you go into action about doing that thing that you've been putting off. So procrastination is a very weird, very unproductive way of getting something done. But that also tells you something. What, why is it, right, that the deadline looming closer makes you go into action? It's because of pressure. Therefore, if you can move that line of pressure up even closer to where you are now, if you can create that psychology in your mind, you will take action sooner. And that's the goal. The goal is to get you out of neutral and taking action again on your life. So that's what we're talking about all this week on procrastination, putting an end, how to put an end to putting things off again. I show every first episode of these series for free, but you can learn more about how to participate in the Life Domination online coaching program by visiting the link below, metalmotivation.com forward slash life domination coaching. This is CJ, the Metal Motivator. And remember, in whatever you do, don't suck. Metal up.